Hi. Before starting my 2017 Appalachian Trail through hike, I wanted to show what I'm going to be carrying in my pack for uh, those who are interested. Um, starting with my pack, I am carrying an Osprey Exos 48 liter uh, pack. Uh, this seems to be a pretty good size and good compromise between the weight of the pack and also the volume of things I can store in here. Uh, right now it is uh, full with about three days of food and two liters of water. Uh, so starting on the outside of my pack, um, I will start in the mesh compartment in the front. Um, in here, I want to carry things that I'm going to be accessing uh, usually multiple times per day. Uh, so uh, in here, I start off with a knee brace um, in case uh, my knee starts acting up and I need to uh, use this. Hopefully I will not need to use this. Um, I have a fleece hat. Um, I'll probably be sending this back uh, closer to the uh, April-May time frame. Uh, this is the water filter I plan on using. It is a Sawyer. Uh, these seem to be pretty popular on the trail, and um, I've had pretty good luck with these in past backpacking trips. Um, I'm also going to be carrying just a regular uh, baseball cap. Uh, so this uh, half of a cup here will be uh, very useful for uh, scooping water into my uh, water uh, uh, bladder for filtering if there's standing water or if there's an area where there's not a flowing water source that I can easily <clears throat> put into um, uh, my water bladder to filter. Uh, so uh, speaking of that, I'm also going to be carrying this ever new uh, one and a half liter water bladder. Uh, supposedly these are a little bit more reliable than the uh, Sawyer water bladders, um, so I'm going to give this a try. Uh, I'm also going to carry a Sawyer water bladder just because I've had good luck with these. Uh, I've, I've never had one break on me in any of my past back, back, backpacking trips, um, so I'll carry this as a backpack, uh, backup anyway. Uh, I'm also carrying a bandana. Um, I'm carrying this uh, uh, fitting that allows me to uh, screw my water bottle onto uh, my uh, Sawyer water filter and by doing this it allows me to use a, a gravity fed type system. Um, I have not tried this before, I'll give it a try and see how it works out. Also in this mesh pack uh, front I'm going to be carrying my tent stakes. Uh, so. I think that is it for the front of my pack. Um, on the sides here, uh, I have uh, these freestanding tent poles. The tent I'm bringing is a Z-Pax duplex tent, and normally uh, this requires you to use a uh, <coughs> your your hiking your trekking poles to support the tent, since it is not a freestanding tent. Whereas this allows you to make that tent into a freestanding tent. Uh, I'm not sure how often I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to take them at the start. Uh, just in case I need them, but this may be something I'll be sending back. Uh, also in the side compartments, I have uh, two uh, one liter smart water bottles. What's nice about the smart water bottle is that I can, um, the, uh, the uh, head of it allows you to back flush your Sawyer water filter, so it's a dual use item. Uh, in the front of my pack, uh, in one of these compartments, I'm going to be carrying a uh, video camera. Um, this is a Sony video camera. Um, this I'll be attempting to use uh, to help uh, video and document, document um, uh, my time on the trail. Uh, in these front pack, uh, these uh, uh, the, the belt pouches here, I'm carrying a um, my headlamp. This is a, a black diamond. Um, I do not recall the name of this. So in this video, uh, I will link uh, to my lighter pack uh, list so for a more detailed list of what I'm carrying that also has weights if you're interested. Uh, also in here, um, I have uh, some Purell uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, this side of, the, of uh, the belt pack, I also have some more hand sanitizer. I'll probably only be carrying one of these. Um, and also I have a Leatherman Micra uh, uh, multi-tool. Um, this, as its main tool, is scissors. And scissors, I find, are one of the more useful things to have uh, while backpacking. So, 
If we go into the top uh, lid of the backpack, these are also things that I would like to um, uh, have readily available. So in here, I have a um, my trowel, toilet paper, and other toiletries. I have the uh, pack cover for when it rains. I also have an Outdoor Research Helium rain pants. Um, this is probably only something I'm going to be using during the winter, um, but it will be good to have. And also an uh, Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. Uh, what I like about these is they pack very small and are very light. So, um, yeah, so that makes it a really good item. Uh, and I think that is it for the outside of the top lid here. Uh, inside the lid, there's this uh, mesh compartment, and in here, I have a, uh, <clears throat> a little pouch here for uh, money or uh, credit cards. Also in this pouch here, I have uh, my toothpaste, toothbrush, my electronics. Uh, in these electronics, I have a 10,000 milliamp hour RAV power battery pack. I have an uh, Anchor uh, battery charger and various other charging cables. Um, also other electronics, I have an altimeter watch. Um, I also have a Garmin uh, Phoenix watch, but I find that the battery life isn't very long and the GPS accuracy isn't that great. So instead of that, I'm going to be carrying this uh, Casio altimeter watch, and I find that the, the uh, altitude is the thing I mainly use on the watch. Um, I also have this collapsible cup. Um, this will be useful for uh, as a measuring cup um, for uh, meals. Um, I have 50 feet of rope if I want to uh, hang a bear bag. Um, my bear bag is a the kind where um, bears cannot eat through it, so technically I can just uh, tie it to a log or something and I'll be okay, but in case I do want to hang a bear bag or um, anything else I need to use rope for, I have it. Um, I have a rock pouch in, uh, for throwing the rope over a, a tree limb, um, so this is also in case I want to hang the bear bag. Um, here I have an InReach Explorer, which is a GPS device with also an Iridium transmitter. Um, this is, has an SOS device, and it's also going to be used for um, so people can track my progress on the trail. Um, I also have my first aid kit. You can see what I have in here on the lighter pack list linked um, under this video. Um, I have a titanium spoon. Uh, this is a Tokes titanium spoon for eating. Um, I have a bug net. And that is it for the top lid. Uh, so inside the interior of my pack, I have First of all, my uh, food bag. Um, like I said, this is a bear bag that is uh, made of a material that bears can't chew through or get inside. Um, so this you, uh, keeps you from having to hang a bear bag every night. Um, so you basically just tie this to a log and you're good to go. Um, inside of my pack, I, I keep a, a, a trash compactor bag. Um, and this uh, helps keep things dry inside the pack. So anything I want to keep dry, I keep inside this trash compactor bag. Um, so in here I have a down coat. Um, this is a Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. Uh, also in here I have a, uh, my titanium um, uh, pot and uh, stove. Um, this is my clothes bag, dry bag. Uh, in here, um, I have all, all the clothes I need, and this bag also reverses, so one side is felt, so I can use this as a pillow. Uh, this is my tent. This is a Z-Pax duplex tent, uh, non-freestanding. Like I said before, the uh, poles allow me to make it into a freestanding tent, but normally I'll have to use my trekking poles to, uh, to use this tent. Uh, this is the fuel canister for my stove. 
this is the stuff sack uh, for my sleeping uh, quilt, and my sleeping quilt is a Enlightened Equipment Revelation 20 degree quilt. Uh, this is my sleeping uh, blow-up pad. Um, this is a Thermarest uh, Z-Lite um, insulated pad. And these are down socks in case my feet get cold. And that is it um, for my bag. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.